Well, ladies and dudes, here we are. It's been six whole months in 2023, and I gotta go ahead and do my top 10 best videos that I have ever done so far in the year of 2023. And yeah, it's going to be very, very hard to see which one of these videos is my all-time best for this year before we can head on to the nether six months to come for 2023 if you know these things too darn well that's for sure well anyway hi ladies and dudes this is rebecca lynn barkley aka boop 1987 this is my review for a day and today we are heading back to top 10 list and i gotta do a top 10 list that I have already done before in these past videos here and there. And I do want to apologize to all of you ladies and dudes. I'm very, very darn sorry that I haven't done much videos of this year. Because, well, for the past six months, uh, it went downhill for me. There's too much negative signs here and there that's going on in my life. And I was just down, depressed, and... I was just upset about a lot of things here and there, and it bothered me so darn much. But I hope and pray that the next six months to come, I'll be back in the upper hill again. You know, once you stay down the spot, you'll go back uphill or something like that. It's hard for me to say. But I promise to all of you, I will do more videos to come, and I promise I gotta do those three missing movie reviews that I haven't done yet of this year and I didn't get a chance to see them in Fatus. And I do want to apologize to all of you for that. If you know what I mean. But for right now, I gotta go ahead and do my top 10 best videos that I have ever done so far in the year of 2023. And there is so many good videos to choose from. From movie reviews, top 10 or 5 lists, quick videos, short videos, and videos that feature Pokemon or some others. You name it. But I think 10 videos is just fine for me. And I guess you want to know which one of these 10 videos had finally made it to the list. So without further ado, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my top 10 best videos that I have ever done in the year of 2023. And I got a piece of paper for it. So let's get this whole thing started. Coming at number 10 is I got all three of the rated Pokemon cards that came from Crown Zenith. I love all three of those cards so darn much, and they're very darn special to me. And I'm happy I got all three of those cards in my Mewtwo binder. But my most favorite one of all is the Radiant Charizard. That Radiant Charizard is the most beautiful card I have ever seen in my whole entire life. And I got it from an old friend of mine who was once a YouTuber from many years ago. Someone I knew and care about. I just feel bad for those cards. It just... Those poor cards have really low pricing right now. Sadly to say. And I really don't know why. I just wish they could leave those prices alone when they finally release Crown Xena. So... I think it's a good idea we give Crown Zenith more love, more than ever, and since I really love their rarest cards that came from in the set. So, please bring Crown Zenith more praise than ever, ladies and dudes. We got to support that amazing deck of cards. Well, if you know what I mean. So yeah, the Ray of Pokemon cards deserves to be at number 10. And coming at number 9 is... Which one of these two Pokemon is the best? I'll let you guys pick which one you like. Do you like the one that featured a Pokemon who has a shield or the one that has 
a sword in its mouth. I really like both of those cards, and they're very darn interesting. And I guess you want to know which one I chose. For me, I really like the Pokemon who has a shield. Uh, yeah, a wolfy Pokemon that has a shield that's uh, like a lion's maid, I guess. It's pretty dark, cool looking, and I just love it very much. What else I could say about that amazing card? So, I put that at number 5. And coming at number 8 is... Reality. Yeah... No, not reality. It is reality. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it's reality. My hashtag video. After all, I have to do a serious short message for all of you in my YouTube video. Something we need to understand about the real world itself. We need find something that's real and not something that's completely fake. After all, reality rules no matter what. Hard for me to say about this one, so I put that one at number 8. And coming at number 7 on my list is I found two forgotten hidden easter eggs that came from Belle. I love Belle, it's one of my favorite anime movies of all time, and the best part about it is the climax of the film. One of the best epic climactical scenes I will never forget in movie history, something about a million miles away. And thanks to that wonderful scene the whole entire movie, it did feature two forgotten hidden easter eggs. One that came from Dragon Ball Z and the other that came from Spider-Man 2. Well, if you haven't seen that video, just check it out right away and you'll know what I'm talking about. The two forgotten hidden easter eggs I have ever seen in my whole entire life that came from in a very underrated animated film. If you know what I mean. So I put that one at number 7. And coming at number 6 goes to... <sighs> My big live alligator moment that came from Jaw Work Chapter 3. I love that video so much. That was a whole lot of fun. That was my most funnest video I ever done from this year. Talking about one of my most favorite scenes in the whole entire world that feature a big lip alligator moment that came from John Wick Chapter 3 Pentavellum. Something that happened one time, one time only, and it never happened again. I want you guys to check out my favorite big lip alligator moment that came from Number 3. You'll know what I mean. I have to put that at number six. Coming at number five, I have finally found one of my chase cards at long last. I found one of the best epic masterpiece cards of all time that I truly want to chase. For all this time. And it's... It's a lovely piece of art. It's breathtaking. It's so unique. So rare. It will blow your mind. I'll let you guys see that card for yourself. And you'll know what I'm talking about. I have nothing to say at no. And coming at number four is my honest movie review of Taken 3. I'm sorry I screwed up that movie review when I did in April. But I think this is one of my most serious movie reviews I've done so far. And I, I need to be very, very serious. I want to do this whole movie review very, very seriously, ladies and dudes. 
something that all of us need to get to know of right away that Taken 3 is one of the most screw up movies of all time and thanks to those idiot screenwriters it's their fault they screwed up the whole entire film without giving us a good appropriate storyline and that film needs to be fixed right away including one character that I wish we could get to know more of. If you haven't seen my honest movie review of Take It 3, just go back to my channel and just see it right away if you can. If you know what I mean. That's why it has to be at number 4. And now my top 3 favorites. The best videos that I've ever done so far in the year of 2023. So here we go. Coming at number three is my top five best Pokemon cards that I'm very proud to pull from the Sword and Shield era. Yep, I'm very darn happy that there's so many great Pokemon cards that I ever pulled from the Sword and Shield era. And these cards really did blew me away from start to finish. Well, all the packs that I ever found from Jersey's and Walmart and Kroger and some others. And I'm just very happy I got them in my Mewtwo binder. All the some of the full arts and one ultimate art card and one card that's my masterpiece and two radiant cards and and another one I for ah I, I, yeah that's right it's my golden Pokemon card sorry about that <laughs> yep these cards just blew me away and I'm very proud that I got them all in my Mewtwo binder that's for sure and speaking of my Mewtwo binder, coming at number two is my top ten of which Pokemon cards that I want to add in my Mewtwo binder. Well, let's just say my search continues. There are so many great Pokemon cards I got to find and I want to put it in my Mewtwo binder. I'm glad I found one of them. But the others is going to be really, really hard to find. So, yep, my journey continues. Uh, which one of the cards I really want to add in my Mewtwo binder? And it's going to take forever. And I wish there is some Mewtwo fans out there who can help me out to find which one of the Pokemon cards that I really want to add in my Mewtwo binder. Something that I truly want so badly from the Sword and Shield era. Well, if you guys know me too well, and I know you, if you haven't seen my latest, my top 10 list I did back in the winter time, you got to see it for yourself. Ah, hard for me to say. And that's why it has to be at number two. And finally, my number one best video that I've ever done so far in the year 2003 is... Boobot 97's most quick video, part 112. Let's give Tega 3 a much better storyline. Thanks to me, I am the world's greatest brains of the earth. I made the most genius idea of all, of how to find a way to give Taken 3 a much better storyline. And I really want the storyline to be about redemption. Only one good character I really want to know more of who needs redemption. She deserves it more than ever. And also, a shocking plot twist I really want to add in the story. Something that will... <gasps> no way. You better check out that one, too. I worked hard on that idea. So, my greatest quick video about 
find a way to give Take It 3 a much better storyline deserves to be the number one of which video that I did so far in the year of 2023. And that's it. That's my top 10 best videos I've ever done so far in the year of 2023. And I hope you can forgive me for screwing things up here and there when I was doing this video. Well, if you guys know me too well. And I'll be back for more videos to come. I gotta do more quick videos in the future so I can finish up my final season, my quick video series. I will do more movie reviews coming really, really soon. In the next part of this year, even the three missing movie reviews, I haven't seen the Fiatas. Add some short videos and um, more top 10 or 5 lists. And, and you get the rest. And I have to go because I gotta take care of a lot of cats. Both from inside and outside. If you know what I mean. So, I'll see you all later. And sayonara.